Hey everyone, it's uh, Bass Crazy Forever One. I just wanted to show you what I'm throwing out there today. Um, here's my rod. Uh, right now, I'm throwing out um, 20 pound Power Pro for bass most of the time. 20 pound Power Pro Vermilion Red, and I got a Texas rig set up with the Cinco, Strike King Cinco with a uh, uh, Blazer Sharp three out what three out wide gap hook with a like I don't know what that is. There's something up half an ounce, not even half an ounce, like quarter ounce bullet weight. And letting it sit on the bottom and popping it up. I want to show you the nut I'm using um, and how to set it up. So right now, since it's cold, that's why I'm using it on the bottom. Say if it was like summer day, I take this off, take this off and jig it real fast and make it pop on the on top of the water, like make it come up. Sometimes it'll pop up like this and come down and make good have good motion if you just let it sit sometime <clears throat> you'll probably get one you know let it sit um so I'm gonna show you how to rig this and everything what knot I'm using I'm using an updated clinch knot uh, those are probably get the best for bass you could I was using a I fished off the pier yesterday I was using a bimini twist knot but that's because we were salt water most of the time. But right now I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. Um, right now I have my Fluger, the Pete Fluger Exion, Exion, Exion. And it's got dual hand grip, good eyes, good eyes on that. Um, it's a uh, six foot six medium fast action rod. Same thing as my. Uh, it's not the same thing as my. Uh, my bionic blade over there. My bionic, my bionic blade. It uh has seven. It's seven foot medium fast action, ten eyes. This one has ten eyes too, but this one to be able to cast farther and more accurate because it's uh longer. So right now I'm just gonna set this up. Um, I haven't got any fishing videos up. Um, actually my friend has a some a video of me at uh, this natural lake that we found. Um, I don't know if it's really his name is a uh, bass, uh, Mr. Bassman, nineteen ninety six. So check that out. Um, try to get this through there. See what I'm using on this. I'm not using a uh, Power Pro on this one. I'm using Cajun Red seventeen pound bra uh, seventeen pound monofilament. The reason I'm using 17 pound, you put so heavy on these bait casters because you could, they have, this one has really good action, you can make sure you cast it out there good, and uh, it's very good, I like it, it uh, got good action on it, so, you know, what it is, it's a very nice smooth reel, uh, great casting action, I haven't used, I haven't put braid on this, I just recently got this, so, uh, got this at Sports Authority, for $98, something like that. So if you get that, uh, it's good. Put mono on it. Don't, I haven't tried. Put mono on it first. See our cast. Mono on it so far is working really good. I have it on set to five. The mag is set perfectly. I had a um, popper on this before. Got a nice three pound bass on it. I didn't get any videos on it though, but. Set that up. Alright, So what you want to do, you want to get it through that little hole, you know, on bait casting reels, whatever, my new rod. I don't have any new bait, I'm getting that soon, hopefully. I'm going to get the Hyper Freak from Bass Pro. Um, let's stick with the Strike King sticks. Gary Yamamoto is a little expensive for me, you know, whatever, um, but, uh, right, I'm also getting, probably I'm getting a new rod eventually, um, I'm also, uh, on my, I'm also getting a new Jumbo for my birthday, but that's not for a while now, it's just been a couple months, um, right now, uh, just reline this, showing you what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna put on this, 
how to tie, what not I tie, um, and stuff like that. What not I do, and what, um, what type of knot I do, which is updated clinch, I probably already told you that. Um, so, right now, I'm just gonna set this thing up for you. Also, what's been working pretty good out there is, uh, you do, uh, no top water baits, they're mostly down in the weeds because right now it's winter time so they're uh probably gonna go deeper or they're probably gonna go um into the weeds if they uh do that you want to put a weedless hook on it don't put weedless hook sink you want to or you want to uh they'll just go down to the colder waters because in the winter there's not as much clouds and everything so they chill down on the bottom because the sun hits the water which makes the top of the water hot so when they go down they just hang out in the cold water because the top of the water is too hot for them but uh anyways in the summer you probably do better because um Some of you do better because they're uh, rising because of the heat of the um, clouds that are all there, all the clouds and stuff, and they uh, chill and they uh, rise up because they want to uh, do whatever and they want to come up. On to some of you always want to do mostly top water or you want to like get in the middle midsection so right now I'm just going to show you what I'm, we're using out there um I'll set up the Senko right now you got the quarter ounce bullet weight lead by uh oh, I forgot but you put it in slide that into the hole nice little hole in there nice little hole if you want to slide it into the top just like this hold on real fast There we go. And uh, put that through the hole just like that. Um, just like that. Get that, grab that, let it slide down. Now you got that free, uh, that free one, that free weight right there. It's riding the line up and down. And now what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you is the three out Y gap hook by uh, Laser Sharp, Blood Red. You got this. You wanna. Um, Want to start with the updated clinch knot? That's what I always do. What you gotta do? You gotta put the hole, spin the hook around eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's there'll be in a little eye right there. If you could see that, I don't know if you could see that or not. But there's a little eye right there. And you take the line and put it right through that eye. Right through that eye, okay. And see that line sticking out right here? Probably can't because of uh, how skinny the line is. But what you want to do? There's still a hole right there. A nice wide hole. Take that line. Take that extra piece of line going through that hole and stick that right in there. You get that nice pull, pull down, pull this line too. So, boom, there's your knot, nice and tight. Well, and you want to cut that access line off. I don't have my scissors right now, so I'm just going to be using this knife real fast.
All right, and there we go. And now, just take that, now that, uh, now that weight just sits right on top of that. You could also buy the, uh, the Gamatsu a hook that actually has the weight attached to it. So when you just, uh, uh Texas rig that hook, it's already on the, um, hook. So, and I'm gonna, since, since that one's set up with the watermelon red one, I'm gonna do a pumpkin seed, strike king, three ounce, three ounce, what am I talking about? That's, that's weights. But, uh, stick worm, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, you wanna make sure you go down a little lower. So you wanna put that in. Right, put that in. And you want to take that right about there. See, it's not right straight out, straight up. It's right there. So you don't put that much. And now the, the tip of the hook, like the eye, is not sticking out. It's just the line straight down into the worm. See that? And now what you do? Take the take the worm, bend it a little bit, put that right in there, and you got that set up. And there's your set. You could also skin this hook. When you have that, like this, take this, and there's a little tip right there. Boom! Ow, that hurts. You get hooked. But now, if I go like this, boom. No more getting hooked. That's also like doing it weedless. So, I'm just going to show you this. Show you how I set this up. And you hopefully got all that. Um, let's see. Let's see here. And there you go. That's how you set it up. And boom. So, uh, that's what I'm throwing out there today. Um, also, I'm going to put up um uh some more videos hopefully uh get some um videos of me fishing up there i'm gonna probably fish lots of hatchet tomorrow i might uh if you want to see where i'm fishing um fishing i live along the the uh riverbed of locks uh locks river down south florida you can look it up fish there it's pretty good especially with these sinkos there's big bass in there my friend caught a 14 pound bass in there it's actually amazingly good. He caught a 14 pound bass in there. I haven't had any luck on top water there during springtime. No, autumn time. But I guess that's more time when they start to stay a little in the middle more. I was using the top water rage tail frog. Uh, rage tail frog. Not doing the best. I had some top water hits and stuff. Caught a snakehead. Not in there, but in a different place. Caught a snakehead. But right now, uh, this is what's working best. Do this out there this weekend. Caught a nice, like, three-pound bass. It wasn't all that good. But tomorrow, I'll definitely get some videos up. You'll see. And it will be a hell of a fishing day. All right. See you later.